This video accompanies an article titled Factors Affecting the Energy Delivered to Simulated Class 1 and Class 5 Preparations that appeared in the Journal of the Canadian Dental Association in 2010. The video describes the use of MARC, an invention of Dr. Price and Chris Felix. The four variables that govern the amount of intraoral energy delivery are the choice of curing light, the operator technique, the location of the restoration, and the type of resin used. Mark tells you how much energy you have delivered to a simulated preparation, and Mark takes the guesswork out of resin curing. Here you can see Mark being used to measure the amount of energy delivered to a simulated resin restoration during light curing. You will see the effect of moving the light guide on the amount of energy delivered. Mark can teach you how to maximize the amount of energy you deliver from your curing light to the resin restoration. Mark is an accurate system based on a National Institute of Standards Technology referenced spectrometer. Here we can see the sensors in Mark. The sensors are roughly the same size as a class 1 preparation in a bicuspid tooth. The Mark head is easy to set up and the software is very user friendly. In fact, Mark can be used almost anywhere. Here we can see Mark being attached to a dental chair. Mark can also be easily attached to a laboratory bench. The USB cable is then plugged into the computer, which then runs the proprietary Mark software. Here we can see the location of the anterior sensor between the two upper central incisors. This sensor is one millimeter deep from the facial surface. Here we can see the location of the posterior sensor in Mark. This location is four millimeters deep from the cusp tip of the upper left second molar. The inter incisal opening in Mark can be adjusted from a maximum of 46 millimeters through to 28 millimeters by rotating the limiter and the back of the stand. Using Mark. Okay, so Sonia, could you cure tooth number 27 for me, please? Hi, Sonia, can you help us with an impression next door? Sure, I'll be there in a minute. Thank you. This technique delivered 6.2 joules per centimeter squared of energy to the simulated restoration in the posterior tooth. Now we'll see what happens when we use the same curing light on the same tooth using the same operator and the same amount of distraction. Okay, Sonia, please cure tooth number 27. Hi Sonia, can you help us with an impression next door? Sure, I'll be there in a minute. Thank you. This technique delivered 13.2 joules per centimeter squared of energy. Mark helped the operator optimize the amount of energy they delivered to the simulated resin restoration. Here we can see in one case they delivered 13.2 joules per centimeter squared and in the other case they only delivered 6.2 joules per centimeter squared. Instructions that come with a new Smartlight Max curing light recommend that this light be used from anywhere between 5 and 40 seconds depending on the shade and type of resin. According to Dentsply this light delivers 1200 milliwatts per centimeter squared which means that they believe that dentists must deliver between 6 and 48 joules per centimeter squared of energy depending on the shade and type of resin used. Alternative sources such as the Philips textbook or the European Commission on emerging and newly identified health risks, both recommend delivering 16 joules per centimeter squared to adequately cure a 2 millimeter increment of resin, but again this does depend on the shade and type of resin being used. We have tested over a hundred dentists using Mark. Using good curing lights used for recommended curing times, 10% of dentists delivered less than 5 joules. And the thing is that none of the dentists knew how little energy they were delivering. 
Here we can see the location of the sensors that were described in the article. The sensor in the class 1 location was 4 mm from the cusp tip, and in the class 5 location the sensor was 2 mm from the facial surface. Here we can see an example of an operator who used the curing light to its maximum potential. You will note that they delivered a very uniform irradiance in the class 5 location. On the other hand, this is an example of an operator who was not quite so steady and delivered a very non-uniform amount of irradiance and a low amount of energy to the class 5 detector. Here we can see an example of a curing light with a light guide. You will note how difficult it is to get into the class 1 and class 5 locations. This shows how relatively easy it was to get this curing light into the class 1 and class 5 locations. Even so, the 20 operators using this particular curing light for the same amount of curing time deliver between 4.4 and 17.4 joules per centimeter squared. As you have seen, Mark can quickly show the effect of different curing techniques and curing lights on the amount of energy delivered to simulated restorations. To conclude, has your light curing technique been measured? How much energy are you delivering to your restorations? And finally, how much energy does your resin require? Mark is primarily being purchased by dental manufacturers and dental educators, but it is also available for dental clinicians.